Here at school, perhaps you had an end of term disco or a Kaylee, even better. Nowadays, it's more likely to be marked by an American style prom, complete with limousines, fancy clothes, and tiaras. And it's not just secondary schools who are glamming it up, primary schools are doing it too. So, as prom season is upon us, our reporter Hayley Jarvis asks if it's all just a bit of harmless fun. Please don't stop the music. Nicole is preparing for her big night, the high school prom. I just had my nails done, hair done, tan done, makeup done, new dress, new shoes, new bag, lots and lots of things. But looking good doesn't come cheap, and this willingness to splash out on prom night is proving to be big business for some. We first opened here three years ago, and you know we might have got one or two. Uh, last year there was certainly a real, real increase, and this year I think we've got about five in today. There's more in the weekend. There's some in last week, so it seems to be getting more and more popular every single year. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, it should be good. A glamorous look for a glitzy occasion. No disco in the school hall for pupils at St Ninian's in Kirk and Tillock. They've hired a hotel where they'll have a three-course meal before dancing the night away. Like, that's the main reason most people stayed on to sit here has to go to their prom. All high so. school people look forward yeah. to it. That's been highlighted in years. Until recently, proms were the stuff of American teen movies, but they're fast becoming a regular feature in the Scottish school calendar. So, are these end-of-term celebrations becoming a little over the top? It goes as much over the top as pupils would want it to be, but you know, we, we traditionally have felt it's not been over the top. Very carefully, we would find out if anyone wasn't coming because of the cost, and actually the school would help out in that case, and you know, without people knowing about it at all. 